Hello. Does that sound right? Uh, I should have tested this like before stream. Like, hello, Kappa. Hello. I'm just trying to see if my audio is like fine but i don't know hello i you are on sugar stream right i think i remember you from sugar stream if i'm not mistaken but yes hello welcome on in welcome on in so i see oh my god Everything's just breaking it and I don't know why. And oh my god, why is that being so weird? Um, I, why is my mic being so... Things are just breaking. <laughs> um, it literally things were breaking on um, Friday streams. And I don't know why. Okay, I think we'll, I think today, um, we'll go a few minutes over. And why is my face cam just randomly breaking? Like, I'm just trying to, right now, I'm actually just posting stuff to Instagram. Because, um, I was doing a bit of review before. Why are you breaking? Why are you just breaking? And I don't know whether it's just Twitch Studio being weird or if it's just my equipment just see i and it's literally just when i like highlight stuff something happened i don't know it's Everything is just, everything is just kind of breaking today. I'm so sorry. But yeah, everything is just breaking. So, okay, we'll get into like the bit of revision I want to go through in a minute. So either I want to go through either like an approach, like a comparison of approaches question, or I want to go through a bio, bio psych stuff. I think I might just go through bio psych stuff and then just start approaches stuff. Hmm. Uh, like, um, like maybe start a focus revision like next week. But the thing is, right? I have paper two for psychology on, um, on Thursday. So, yeah. So yeah, I think we'll run over like about 15 minutes today. We'll, we'll go over, we'll, I think we'll do like an hour and 15 today. Instead of just the normal like hour. Why? Why did it, why does it just, why does it just turn off randomly? This is the most annoying thing. But yeah, as you can kind of tell, I need to close down Curse Watch because I was taking screenshots in The Sims. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I for one hundred followers, for getting one hundred followers, I changed like, 
um, my panels in my about me section I changed like my header and my profile picture and uh, I changed my like scenes so this is the starting start screen screen that you all saw I don't like how I have played chow actually I might redo that we do that later after stream and then this is my rage screen they all pretty much this is just the same this is like my break screen this is just like my just trying I need to move that follower go over somewhere I don't know where though for that scene in particular okay that doesn't look right but whatever we've got this is our like main like game uh thing here our main game screen this is the ending scene screen and this is this screen here um okay i don't know if you can see it but if i move my webcam down slightly if i hide that uh you saw the face cam unavailable like screen there okay so we have one thing to actually read up to and i haven't gone google docs up yeah uh, there we go. Uh, really sorry, <laughs> my English is very bad. Don't worry, it is. Don't worry about it. I don't mind. I don't mind personally. Um. Okay. So we have one thing to react to that I forgot to react to on Friday, which is the a new Ninjago's Dragon Dragons Rising, uh, trailer. It released like earlier this week. I just completely forgot about it until like twenty minutes ago. So yeah, I'm going to change my capture to YouTube and then, okay, where is it? Where is it? Oh, 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 okay, that's kind of out, so I'm going to, at least in my <laughs> headphones. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to get Twitch um, up on my phone. Um to actually see chat um but yeah we've got a new dragons rising trailer i have not actually seen this one before i've seen like a few clips on like tiktok and twitter but i haven't actually like fully seen this one yeah so here we have an overhead shot we have sora and Aaron right here <laughs> That's one of the guys we heard speak in the last trailer, I believe. I think that was in the full trailer. And why do my AirPods keep connected to my phone? This is a very scuffed start to stream. there's this um like name that people call kai nia and lloyd which is rgb siblings okay red green blue siblings because kai is the red ninja nia nia has like wears blue and lloyd is the green ninja so rgb and that's mainly because um kai tends to like kai especially in like a lot of the earlier seasons was like i need to protect lloyd lloyd is like a little brother you know so that's why a lot of people will refer to them as rgb rgb siblings mainly on ninjago twitter um on like the ninjago side of twitter when and like on tumblr and stuff so seen a lot of like the dragons since season 10 so I, i'm really glad that they're implementing like the dragons like the evil dragons into this um like new like soft reboot of the show i'm just i'm just gonna call it a new season this new season of the show and sora 
I assume has like some sort of technology manipulation like powers. So yeah. In a lot of like previous Ninjago seasons they've had like a lot of like distinction between elemental powers and magic such as with the distinction between the elemental masters and Klaus in season four. So I'm just kind of glad, I just kind of want to see where this kind of goes. And we've got this like eye of Sauron looking thing. No idea what that could be. But yeah. No idea what that could be. So okay, we're done with attachment now. I'm done with attachment personally because I've already done paper um paper one. So I'm actually gonna first of all I'm need to get my um bio psych like stuff out of my bag um but yeah i think we're gonna go i'm gonna i think i might go over um brokers and vernix area because uh, i think i might just kind of talk through like the areas in the brain of the brain and this is how much more thinner my my border is after i've taken out paper one booklets for reference it was like it was like that much higher that much more thicker with the paper one like stuff so that was attachment social influence and for some reason we had four um we had four psychopathology um we had four psychopathology booklets, which were quite thin to be fair, fair. But why have four when you could just put it all into one? For context, psychopathology includes like deviation from abnormality. And also we have three biopsych um three biopsych booklets, which I kind of understand because um we have like the fight or flight stuff which was taught in first year and then we have wait did i not put did i get smart by mistake no where's my other biopsych booklet then my fan just fell over <laughs> what's the other biopsych booklet I, I have three biopsych booklets Um, but I do kind of understand that because um, like the fight or flight stuff was taught in year one. Oh, it's here. It's here. Well, like biological rhythms and like the EEG stuff and like, you know, studying the brain was taught in second year, which I kind of understand. But why give us four psychopathology like booklets when um, we lack? I, I just tend to talk. I just tend to kind of talk fast, I guess. I remember, I remember either you or someone else was saying relax on Sugar Stream. And she just talks fast. I talk slightly slower than Sugar. But not really. Um, whenever I have something to talk about, I just tend to talk fast. You know? I think it's a British thing. I think it's a British thing that, we, that I just talk fast. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know why we got only got four psychopathology. I'm also I also tend to ramble a lot and like deviate onto like different topics and then come back to my original point if I if I remember it. Um so yeah, I need to put my webcam down. Slightly. Okay, there we go. Um Okay, there we go. Um but yeah, I don't know why we got four psychopathology booklets seeing as though like um it was all taught in like one go in first year so like for context for psychopathology it was like 
abnormality it was like abnormality so deviation from ideal mental health the statistical infrequency etc etc um and then it was depression ocd and phobias um so yeah i don't know i don't know why they could have just put it all into one like booklet but i don't know i don't know okay so let me look up some uh you know yeah let's go through, go through some um biopsych um 16 markers Um, let's see. Um, so I'm gonna go over localization of localization. So um, describe and evaluate localization of function in the brain. Okay. Describe and evaluate localization of function in the brain. 16 marks. Okay, so first we need a. Okay, I'm just. This is literally just. This is like literally most of the. Like localization of function and. Um, hemispheric lateralization stuff. Hemispheric, hem well, hemispheric lateralization is like um, certain like functions are um, like specific to both hemispheres to like one hemisphere. Wait, let me see. <laughs> the uh, definition we're given in our booklet is the dominance of one hemisphere of the brain for particular physical and physiological functions. So for example, the the left is responsible for is responsible for language produ production like slash processing and logic and then on the right side of the body like the right side of the body's movements. While the right hemisphere is responsible for, for is responsible responsible what well, that's your assignment or what? Um, um, okay, so these are just booklets we are given with like all the content in, like all the stuff we need to for, for us to like revise from. Um, and um, and in these revision streams, I just tend to talk and go through um, essay questions, essay like uh, questions that might come up on the exam. These aren't like assignments given us to us by our teacher. Um, and the right hemisphere is um, responsible for creativity and the left side of the body's like movements. I can't remember what else it's responsible for. Is it just that? Um, recognition, like recognition of like faces. Lag, yeah, I guess. <laughs> um there probably is i i just do not know how i don't know how to like properly fix that at this moment um i'll try and like figure it out like um like maybe after stream but yeah i don't know how to um like figure that out i'm sorry um but yeah, so the right hemisphere is, the right hemisphere is, um, is responsible for creativity, recognition of like faces and people and stuff like that, and the left side of the body's, um, like movements. The left hemisphere is responsible for logic, language processing and production, and. Um, the right side of the body is like movements. Okay, so far, A O one. This is actually localization of function, not lateralization. I was, I was just going on like. So, for this, I do not think you would 
get credit for talk i don't think you would get relevant credit for talking about l hemispheric lateralization mainly because um it's like the example will think that you're getting like confused um between lateralization and localization so you probably wouldn't get any credit for lateralization so localization is the idea that cer certain functions have uh, certain locations within within um the brain so okay so this is going to be your ao1 so just your like no evaluation just your normal like content so um uh, specific um functions so this can be language or memory or processing different information so processing specific information etc just for that have specific i like specific to specific areas if that makes sense um let's just have specific areas allocated in the brain so specific functions have specific areas allocated in the brain also you wouldn't be get credit for talking about um the research into the is it what is it color corpus callosum you wouldn't get any credit for that because that more of pretty much that pretty much um is referring to ha because of research into the cor corpus callosum is and that so <laughs> research into when the cor corpus callosum is like removed that is research into hemispheric lateralization so you would talk about like sperry's um research in that um and his split brain research also you would probably you could get like an eight marker or a 16 marker just on outlining and evaluating split brain research so i would so the main study would be sperry's um and and for evaluation you would just i don't know why i'm going off on a tangent on i don't know why i'm going off on a tangent on hemispheric lateralization i'm talking about localization but whatever um you, you could talk about like i don't think there's many um there's a, there's a few pieces of supportive and like supportive um research actually this gazangia i don't know it's you it's like it's spelled differently in like different things so i think in my in my i can't remember if it's gazangia or not but something along those lines um um that contradicts wait does it contradict yeah it, that contradicts i believe and but then you could talk about but if you can't remember like gaz and Gia's research or or like any other research you could just just talk about like case case studies technically you could talk about like um you could talk about like phineas gauge or wait no that's functional recovery never mind you could talk about certain pieces of research if you can like apply it back to hemispheric lateralization anyways back onto localization so you probably wouldn't need all this AO, AO1 because AO1 tends to be on describe and evaluate questions I think AO1 is six marks and then AO3 is three is ten marks um AO AO3 is just basically your evaluation of um, the research. So, uh, I want to sleep right now. I have four hours before I go to work.
Well, sorry about this because it can hang on your uh, stream too long. Don't worry, go go to bed. It's it's fine. You, you can go to bed. You need your you need your sleep before going to work anyways, otherwise you're just gonna be tired throughout the entirety of your shift. So yeah. Go to bed. Go to bed. Okay, so you probably wouldn't need you might need all this uh you might not do I can't I don't know. You might be might be able to get away with talking about um two of the cortexes. So the cor the well like two or three of the cortexes. Like if you can talk about two cortexes and then like maybe brokers and vernix area, then or vernix. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, then you'll probably be fine. Good night, Kappa. Good night. Good night. Um, so I'm just gonna talk through each cortex. So the um, uh, so the primary visual cortex that is located in the occipital lobe and um, it is contralateral, which basically means um, that if like new um, visual information enters your okay, I should preface this by saying that it's both located in both the left and high, right hemisphere um, as well. So in both, it's in both hemispheres. Actually, that's what I should have put beforehand. But yeah, if new visual information enters your left eye, then it will be processed on the right, the like right visual pro, visual cortex. So if it's processed, if it's and if it enters your left eye, it will be processed by your um right visual cortex. So it like kind of like goes in like a crisscross if that makes any sense. Like if you were drawing a diagram, um, you would have the you could have like the two eyes and then, um, primary visual visual cortexes, and then just draw like across uh the left to the right and then right to the left. I don't know if that makes sense. I do not know if that make will make any sense whatsoever. Okay, so, and damage to the primary visual cortex can cause blindness and the inability to see colour. So, colour blindness, basically. Um, and the inability to see motion. Um, next, next cortex is the primary auditory cortex and if you couldn't guess already this um this processes auditory information so sound based information so th this cortex is what processes what i'm saying right now like you kind of get what i mean like the only reason i'm able to carry on sentences and like recall and process what i'm saying is because of the primary audit auditory cortex and no I don't know if there's a secondary auditory cortex um, this is located in the temporal lobe and I don't know if you I don't I don't know if you would be marked down if you can't remember the each specific lobe that they're located in i would try and remember them but if you can't um you could just say that um each cortex is located in different lobes you i don't know if you have to say the specific uh i don't know if you would have to say the specific lobe um um so yeah this is this process is beach based and like audit auditory acoustic 
all basically mean the same thing. Uh, information. And damage can cause like deafness slash hearing loss. Um, the next cortex is the motor cortex, which is located in the frontal lobe. I can't remember. I think it's in the left front. Is it? Oh no, it's in both hemispheres. It's in both hemispheres. Um, I can't remember if this one too is um, contralateral like the primary visual cortex or not. Um, I don't have it in my booklet, so I assume not. So the motor cortex controls um, volunt voluntary movement and damage to this cortex can cause loss of control of movement, so paralysis, um, and loss of control of fine movement. So for example, it may cause, so for example, damage to this area may mean that you're not able to eat with a fork properly. You may need to like use a spoon or have someone like, like feed you, have like a carrot feed you or like use, um, like a feeding tube. Um, Uh, this may mean that you are not able to write as like neatly as you used to um stuff like that or it may mean that like you aren't able to like you know type on a type on a phone you know stuff like that stuff stuff that i am you know kind of doing my hands right now you may not be able to like do you might not be able to like remove your fingers stuff like that Stuff like that you may not be able to do with if there is damage to the um, motor cortex. And whenever I click on the page, it just... And I'm so sorry that my um, webcam went out again. Um, okay, the last cortex before we mo move over to the um, brokers and vernix areas is the soma somatosensory. Uh, center slash cortex and this is located in, and I do not know how to pronounce this it's parietal lobe that is where it is um located the parietal lobe I believe it's called I believe it's how you pronounce it um this processes sensory information Um, and fun fact most of the receptors in like your body are found in your face and in your hands and, and damage to this can cause like n no like a lack of pain recognition um now personally for me i would i wouldn't say no Pain recognition whatsoever because you know it depends on the severity of the damage so i'll just always go i'll just instead write a lack of or a lack of or a reduction in oh my god i think it's when i move my desk oh my god why what why won't my do I have to close discord to in order to make this work it comes on for like a second and then it just does not want to work oh my god i'll have to sort this out but yeah i just closed discord hopefully oh my god why did you turn off 
Ah, this is annoying. It might have something to do with the wire. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't know. It's just like flashing. I don't know why you can. I don't know why it's just not properly working. I may have to stop using a webcam for a while, guys. This is what happens when you get 15 quid. Um, I thought my door was open for a second. This is what happens when you get 15 quid. Um, this is what happens when you get 15 quid. Um, this is what happens when you get 15 quid webcam off of Amazon. I feel like I'm just having the worst luck with technology as of lately. Like, there's feedback on my mic, which I... I've had this mic for like five months now, and so it may just be getting like dusty, and that's why there's feedback. Um, this is just stopped working. When did I start using my webcam actually? Was it? I'm so sorry, this is not going great. Um, Okay, I don't think it was that long ago that I... Okay, no, it wasn't that long ago. Um... When? Why is it just not... The thing is, it keeps saying that... Um, oh, your Twitch virtual webcam is in use, blah, 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 blah. I don't ha I don't use this my Twitch virtual webcam on any other device. May wait maybe if I change it to this. Okay, no, it has to be this. Um, yeah, I may have to get an another webcam if this if this just completely stops working. What's it? I think. Oh, it's on my second Ozark like, season two stream. So, yeah, I am so sorry that this is being weird. Okay, on to broker and brokers and Vernix area. Um, what I'm actually going to do is put this into a table because there's actually some like evidence um for brokers and Vernix area. And so this is why I have um such confusion with the pronunciation because I don't know if it's pronounced Vernix or Wernix. I'm just gonna keep saying Vernix because I feel I have a strong feeling that Vernix is the correct pronunci pronunciation, but I don't know. Um, so Broker's area is in the left posterior of the frontal lobe, um, which is close to the motor cortex the motor cortex motor co uh, cortex and brocus area are in the same um like lobe which you could just bring up like if you are managed to like actually explain it um like properly like they're in the same lobe so does it is it really localized if like the same lobe has several different functions is localization really a thing um so i'm going to go over the ao1 for our broker's area then go over the ao2 for vernix area and then go over the evidence um so for broker's area um it is required it is the area that is that um, is for speech production. So it's so it helps in the movements required for speech production. Um. So with and for Brocus aphasia, which is basically if Brocus area was damaged or just stopped working in some kind of way. And why did my why did that turn off again? why why is my camera why is my webcam like this 
I should just get a normal camera. I've seen I've seen like some streamers on TikTok uh, talk about like having a normal like camera um to like use as a webcam so I might if this just fully dies out on me I might just use a normal camera or maybe I'll just use like a Bluetooth webcam because then I don't have to deal with this wire but I don't know I do not know I do not know okay, so, um with broken aphasia um um an individual may understand speech but isn't able to like produce speech but isn't able to speech but even if but isn't able to talk so they're able to like understand what people are saying but they cannot like talk themselves okay on to the next area um this is in the left temporal lobe and there's actually another um cortex in that which in that area which is the primary auditory cortex now the prime you could just say as like evaluation like the vernix area does is involved in language processing so you could just say like oh why that you could just talk about how like uh you could if you are evaluation evaluating um vernix area you could just say or like a vernix area like research you could just say oh is vernix area damaged or is it the primary auditory cortex because they both sh are in the share <laughs> are in the same lobe so we aren't able to fully distinguish between them i don't know that's just kind of one i made up in my head it's, i don't think it's actually in I don't know if it's actually in the booklet. Oh no, I don't think it is. Um, but yeah, so, and with aphasia of, um, with vernix aphasia, which I won't mind you, is when vernix area isn't working or it gets damaged, um, it means that speech can be produced but the individual um, cannot understand speech okay so let's go on to the evaluation and like let's let's look at the evidence and then we'll talk about the evaluation for like um we'll talk about the evaluation of this and then we can talk, talk about some general AO3 of local, localization of, of, of as a whole. So, you know what, let's add another like, box in. Um, can we add another box in or no? Um, add row below. There we go. So, this is your AO3. Let's actually make roll to the left so 801 and then AO3 so for AO3 we have the case study of Tan now Tan was a stroke victim who had like difficult who had difficulties with uh, speak speaking with communicating with people um, and it wasn't until years later on when he died an autopsy did I say yeah autopsy was Pom which is basically a post-mortem examination so if you are if you are talking about Tan's, Tan's case study you could you could say you could criticize it by saying well, with your usual evaluation of case study um evaluation so it's an extreme case of behavior it's a low sample um you could say oh but wait um this can't be really re reproduced for f because of ethical issues 
um, which can which can be a positive and a negative because it's like, oh, we can't reproduce it to see if the results are reliable. But also, it gives us an insight into information that we wouldn't normally be able to research because of that issues. Hello, Sally Free Free Ten. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. We're just talking through some uh, biopsychology today. We're talking through localization of functions. So welcome on in. Welcome on in. Um. So with t the case study of Tan. Um, and I've got my um phone here just to read chat. So if you see me looking down, it's probably just to um look at chat. Um, so an autopsy was performed and it was found that there was a lesion which i don't know what that means but just remember the word lesion in the where was it it was frontal lobe in the left frontal lobe and then broker the person who was researching this and proposed the idea of broker's area suggested um like concluded that parts of the left frontal uh, lobe had the role um had the role of like language sensor so because um of language sensor you know because broca's area produces it allows for speech production um and other studies have confirmed this. Um, let me see. Um, this I'm just going to read it out from my booklet. Evidence for the different functions of Broca's and Wernicke's area in language production and understanding <coughs> comes from the discovery that dam damage to these different areas results in different types of aphasia. Aphasia to refers to an ability or impaired ability to understand or produce speech as a result of brain damage. Expressive aphasia, also known as Broca's aphasia, is an impaired ability to produce language. In most cases, this is caused by brain damage in Broca's area, demonstrating the role played by this brain region in the production of language. Receptive aphasia, aka Wernicke's aphasia, is an impaired ability to understand language or an, uh, an, ability, an inability to extract meaning from spoken or written words. This form of aphasia is usually a result of damage in Wernicke's area demonstrating the role, the important role played by this brain region in the comprehension of language. Um, you could also, for more, you could also um, talk about post-mortem examination um, criticisms, saying that this is correlational, that of that this is correlational at best because of uh, like other um, factors could have contributed and to get more specific to Tan's case study other factors could have affected difficulty communicating such as maybe Tan's childhood could have maybe Tan was neglected as a child and therefore it led to you know a cognitive impairment linking back to attachment <laughs> i love attack i kind of like attachment actually i kind i kind of don't mind attachment after going over it in institutionalization but like revising paper one yeah we won't go too much into that so other factors could have affected tan's difficulty in uh communicating for example you know his childhood he could have been um you know maternally deprived he could have been institutionalized he could uh we don't i don't think we know a lot about i don't remember and i'm so sorry that my webcam just kind of died for a second there um but yeah, he could have had he could have been institutionalized he you know he could have been diagnosed with over mental health like he could have been diagnosed with like other mental health conditions that may have like caused him to have difficult commu difficulty communication like you could go in further depth about that like i know for example um that some autistic people tend to um become mute 
um, or it could just, you know, talk about, um, he, like, he could have been, he, he may have, like, I don't know, because it was, like, broke his face, so he understood it. Um, like, he under, he must have understood uh, it. But also, it was in the left frontal lobe. It was, like, damaged the left frontal lobe. So, um, if he had damaged the left frontal lobe, we would have expected, um, some, like, reduction in firing motor skills, because the motor cortex, the motor cortex is also located in the frontal lobe. Um, but I don't think, um, he had, like, damage to his fan movements. But then again, he had a stroke, which, you know, affects your fan motor movements during the stroke, so... Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. I don't know how much would you would use that. Um, but yeah, just you could just say other factors may have affected um tan such as you know so it could have affected tan such as like institutionalization. Um other factors affected communication, so um E.g. institutionalization. Um, he could have he could have also been like, um, using drugs or being using alcohol. So we don't really know if um the damage to the left frontal cortex directly affected. Um, directly affected okay. um, so low sample lacks generalizability uh, lacks population validity um, extreme uh, case of behavior because not everyone who has broke as aphasia had a stroke so those may so difficulty with communicating may be due to the stroke itself, and may just be an after effect of the stroke itself, and not due to Broca's aphasia. Again, if you can't remember the words, uh, was it? I don't. I don't even remember the words. If you can't remember expressive aphasia and, um. Give one expressive and receptive. If you can't remember expressive or receptive, Broca's <sighs> aphasia and um, Vernick's aphasia would probably suffice. Um, also, also, there's a study, uh, Drunkers. Uh, Etel, Drunker, uh, yeah, Drunkers, which is a fantastic name. Name, Drunkers Etel. Uh, had a uh performed an MRI scan on uh Tan's brain. Um, there was a lesion found in Broca's area found, uh, and but he found evidence to suggest that other areas may have contributed to failure in speech production so a lesion was found so there's no denying that no denying that broca's aphasia may have contributed but that but uh, um evidence for evidence to suggest that other areas um affected um um failure of speech production and oh my god if my why why are you like this why is my webcam like this why is my webcam like this and i don't know i don't know if this is me but this like speaking to you like this seems feels more direct 
then looking up my webcam and being like, hello, just looking up there. It feels more natural to you. It's when it's like that directly looking in my webcam right now. It feels more natural to look. Like this is me looking directly at you guys. This feels more direct than this. I think that's just because most people when recording when recording a video or streaming look look mostly look at that screen. The only time you'll look at your webcam is like if you're in like a Zoom meeting or in a like you know, online meeting. Um Okay, so back to Junkers. Um so you can do like a little mini evaluation paragraph on Junkers's um, like state itself. Um, so that is scientific because it's an MRI scan and it's objective data. Um, I suggest that other areas of the brain affect uh, uh, other areas of brain have similar things. Um, so this contradicts localization of function. Contradicts localization or tans study obviously um prove like supports localization of function. Now for Phoenix area the evidence for for that I don't I don't know if that is what evidence for Phoenix area. No okay there's just this one case study. Um so this also we don't get a name for the person for kind of a stroke victim for Phoenix area. Um, um, able to speak and hearing was was not in bed. Um, but the victim could barely understand like what was said to him. I also just realised that a lot, quite a bit. Um, I just realised that this could also support the working memory model if you if you've not got done paper one for whatever reason like maybe you missed it and you're doing like a reset or like you're plan you want to do a reset because you think you did shit um if you are planning to do a reset to do um a reset you, you could use this to technically talk about how it supports the working memory model Oh wait, never mind. You you wouldn't be able to use this one for working memory model. Ignore that. Um, because this victim couldn't understand written language. Um. Um, and then after the victim died, a lesion, of course, it was a lesion, was found in the like um like the rear parietal so like the back of the parietal lobe it's like the temporal lobe so i'm guessing the parietal lobe and the temporal lobe are like right next to each other um of the patient's left hemisphere which supports um let me see let me see what else i don't think because i'm Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Ace. I'm doing, I was going to call you Spades then for some reason. But yeah, welcome in, Ace. I'm doing well. How are you doing today, Ace? How are you doing? I'm going to look up what, what lesion is because I don't know what it is. And yet we use it in... We, we use it in um, that's good. That's good. That's good. That you're doing good. But yeah, we, we talk about it in like... um should probably revise. Yeah, I... Um, I haven't, I, you know, I haven't done a lot of revision today, um, because I went to watch Guardians, um, Guardians of the Galaxy three, but yeah, revision, yeah, you should probably revise it. Don't, don't do too much though. Was it good? I, I quite liked it. I quite liked it. I quite, I quite liked it. I, I found it pretty good. It was, uh, I like halfway through the movie. Was it so close to crying because of Rocket's backstory? I don't want to spoil anything. 
um, I don't want to spoil like anything if you, um, um, if you haven't watched it. But halfway through, I was about to cry. I don't know if that's just me. I don't usually cry at movies, but yeah, I was about to cry. I was about to cry. But yeah, it's I, I show. I show. Yeah, it was good. Um, you should probably revise. Um, yes, I agree. Um. A pen, I just found a pen lid in the side of my in the side of my chair <laughs> what okay so um, but for revision advice um, if you want um, you don't have to uh, take any of this um, don't do more than two hours and also in between like those I would say outside the optimal uh, optimal optimal amount of time you should go revise, revise without a break it's like one and a half to two hours and then immediately when you've done two hours take a break take take a break for like at least half an hour take like and take a half an hour break in between those two hours and there's like two hours bro blocks of revision revision and also change up your st strategy strategies for doing revision so do one do like two hours of doing like questions to do then take a break then to do to do two hours of like remaking those again you don't have to accept any of advice that's just so advice i've i've got told by like teachers and that actually kind of work um okay so a lesion is a region in an organ or tissue which has suffered damage through injury or disease such as such as a wound also abscess or tumor okay so it's just so it's just so it's just damage basically um there's literally no other like supportive research. And I swear to God, why is my webcam being like this? Um, this is what happens when you get an unbranded webcam from 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 Amazon three months later. It just dies. Okay, I'm gonna do some now. General L three of of it of localization there's not many pros there's only like but i'm still gonna do pros anyways because there's actually one case study that we can use for the pros so i'm gonna do a con first then we're gonna move over to pros and then cons etc so for one of the cons um and uh, there are individual differences um so babylon found a large like variation of individual uh differences uh, of activation and different people um they observed activity on the right temporal lobe as well as the left frontal, temporal, and occipital lobes. Uh, um, so yeah, large, very observed. So, observed activity. I don't know what brain scan it was, like what type of brain scan it used. Observed activity on right temporal, left temporal. So the temporal lobe as a whole left frontal lobe and left occipital lobe um you can talk about you can then further evaluate this piece of research and i swear but at the saying it's saying it's scientific why are you like this why why is my webcam like this because it's plug is but plugged in it's just Twitch Studio being Twitch Studio. Like it works on Discord. I know it works on Discord. Because I checked it on Friday. Um, there's this little like so there's two like lights that come up on my webcam. There's a um there's a little red one that means it's on and plugged in. There's a like then there's like a green one that means it's like no, the red one means it's plugged in. The green one means it's on and it's working like in an application in like an app so like in like a piece of software so you know twitch studio discard whatever 
anyways, let's get back to the, um, let's get back to this. I want to finish in like five, in like five-ish minutes. Um, and also, um, there's been found to be large, like, gender differences who house these, house the etals. Sorry. Etal just means that, um, there's, how, et al just means that there may have been like a ton of researchers on this and how was just the main one or that why are you off again there we go or that um like harris these like students because a lot of like researchers are professors um that his students may have helped him with the research Um, it's not even warm my webcam it's just like not okay I guess we're going webcam less for the last five minutes I don't know how to fix this I don't know I think it's an issue with the software not my webcam it's just dying for no reason um, Harris D found that, I just moved it slightly and it just went off. When are you going to turn back on? Okay, now it's just not showing up, despite the fact that it's, it's going to be vice. Jesus! Ah, it's not disconnected there we go there we go okay i'm finishing in five minutes anyways um harris d found that women have proportionally larger brokers and vernets areas uh then men result in, in greater use of language um okay let's um okay okay let's let's go to the pro we can use hm the case study which is also in memory so hm's hippocampus was were removed um, no short term memory could be like no two short term memories could like be formed um, the only type of memories that HM could form were like procedural memories which um, are like muscle memory um, basically procedural memory is just mu your muscle memory so for example me typing on a key me knowing how to type on a keyboard do I remember how I learned how to type on a keyboard no that is just muscle memory um, and that the hippo hip, hippocampus is more focused on the hippocampus it's like the gateway of sorts between short term and long term. Um, but this is difficult to generalize because it's a case study. Um, and also, HM wasn't studied before the brain death, before the hippocampus was removed so we don't know how well his his memory was another evaluation point is the equipoficiality theory which i can't remember i remember talking about equipo <laughs> equipotentiality but i do not remember the theory behind it so i'm just gonna be looking down at my um at my 
um, booklet for this, like I just have been doing. So, not all researchers agree with the view that cognitive functions are localized in the brain, and influential conflict in viewing the equipotentiality theory, which is proposed, proposed by Lashley. This suggests that basic motor and sensory functions are localized, but, he had, but that higher mental functions are not. He claimed that intact areas of the cortex could take over responsibility for specific, specific cognitive functions following brain injury. This therefore casts doubt on theories about localization of functions. Okay, so Lashley proposed this and it's basically basic, so basic motor and sensory functions are localized. So, for example, me like moving my hand, like moving my hand, that may be localized. But for example, like me being conscious right now may not be localized. Higher mental functions. So all like all like me like learning psychology, or, like me knowing that psychology sort of uh not localized. Uh intact areas of the cortex could take over responsibility. for cognitive functions uh, following brain injury so this could in theory like um support um this could in theory support functional recovery after trauma which i also need to go over but maybe not localization um and then we've got his study where it's found where um 10 to 50 percent of a of rat of like several rats uh cerebrum were removed when like learning the maze learning like a route for learning routes for a maze learning how to solve a maze um um, and it w did not matter, um, like, which part of the cerebrum was removed. It was just that, um, if any amount, um, any amount was removed, um, it affected, um, the rat's ability to work with a very random, the, any amount affected, the rat's ability to like work through the maze. Uh, and like this task needed to have the whole cerebrum uh, to complete the task. Um, he suggested that higher function, higher cognitive functions such as learning, are not localized, but distributed holistically um, across the brain. And then further explanation, uh, further explanation suggests that what might be more comp more important is how the brain areas communicate with each other. So, for example, through the corpus callosum, which I mentioned earlier, rather than which specific brain region control controls a particular uh, process so yeah and that is it i believe yeah that is it for localization of function we've gone slightly over but it doesn't really matter and my brain my webcam it's not working you can see the face cam unavailable but yeah, let me see if there's anyone else to raid. I swear to God. Okay, no one wants to raid. So I'm just going to end it here. You can also see I've got a new follower goal. I literally just have to smack my webcam. 
but yeah this year set a new follow goal of 200 followers i don't know what i'm gonna do for 200 but yeah i hope you have enjoyed it here and i shall 